here we have the start. All right, looks like we had a pretty clean start to begin this 500 freestyle, 20 lengths of the pool. Top two qualifiers qualify automatically for the state meet. Again, it took about a 5.16.56 to make the meet last year. So a very good swim from Gracie Storm in the previous heat. And a couple other swimmers were right on that 5.16 bubble again. Always interesting to see if those times hold up in this fourth and final heat. Every woman, woman out there um, out <laughs> Out in 27 seconds, so it's very close to start off with. I think we've got Lucy Callard out here first in lane four, but not by much. McCleary Morin trying to challenge her out in lane six. And looks like at the 100, Lucy Callard is turning first at 56-22, opening up a slight lead. Uh, lane six, Mc McCleary Moran. Pretty even bunch here in the middle of the pool at the 150 mark. I think the swimmers here just kind of getting into their race, knowing they still have a while to go. Yep. But Trying to feel out the competition, too. I think for some of these longer races, you get pushed by your competition. You know, kind of looking around, trying to see what everyone else is doing and making it a race. Lucy Callard is going to be out here first at the 200. One fifty-five oh two to her feet. That time would have actually made the 200 last year at the state meet. Out there with that pretty, pretty good speed, followed by lanes five and six, Isabella, Isabella Gable and McCleary Moran giving chase. It's interesting to see what their strategy is, if they're going to be able to uh, get some back-end speed like we saw from uh, Gracie Storm in the earlier heat. Yep. Closing in. But right now, it looks like Lucy Callard is starting to open up. Well, Lucy Callard here is doing a great job off of her walls. Good power off her walls, but kicking appropriately, managing her legs. You can see there. A very nice streamline off the wall, kind of stayed under, tried to stay under the uh, wake from, you know, uh, Isabel and McCleary coming in the other direction. Mm -hmm. A lot of strategy to distance swimming. Yes. McCleary Morin still trying to pull away here for second. Right next to Isabella Gable. Looks like lane, out in lane two, Ariel Arnett starting to pressure, pressure the girls in the center of the pool. In that battle for the second place, which is the second automatic qualifying time for the state meet. Mm -hmm. It's a good race for second. Also looks like there was probably going to be a battle for third here. Between lane one, Kirsten Cassidy, and lane three, Sam Auditor. But with 100 to go, Lucy Callard running away with this. Still pacing under 30. And if she continues to brace, she might really give this district meet record a 453. And if she's been averaging 29 lows, yep. she brings it home. If I was Sydney Lofquist, <laughs> District record holder, I'd be starting to get a little nervous. <laughs> we saw her close on uh, Cora Dupre in the 200, so we know she's got closing speed and here on the, the last 50. And at the bell wrap turn, and her last split was 29.62. She's going to be very close, as you can see her really kicking the legs in. Probably going to work that, that turn extra, extra hard. Mm -hmm. And there's also a very good race for second place shaping up between Ariel Arnett. 
And it and looks like Lucy looks, Callard Lucy is going Callard to be is going to do it. Another district record. 451-83. Congratulations. Great swim. Coming home in a 28-73. Wonderful backhand speed. Wonderful way to put an exclamation point on that on that race. Yep. Second meet record broken.